hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl for crop cool back again with another video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and give this video a thumbs up okay this will help me know that you are enjoying the video and i'll continue to bring you amazing content okay i already have videos of how to migrate to the united kingdom on my page so you may want to watch the previous video so you can just stop watching this if this is going to be your first time watching and this is going to be if you want to start the whole process i would advise that you stop watching this you pause and go watch the previous videos okay after that you come back and continue with this is that all right okay so today's video is basically going to be about how to register with the uk nmc so i am just going to continue this video with the screen recording on how um i did my registration and then you can follow the same steps and then you know proceed so um let's move right into the video Google UK NMC registration and press on joining the registration. After that, you look for the checklist. You register as a um, nurse or midwife. Press on that and then you select trained outside the United Kingdom. After that, um, you get a checklist that you can follow. But this, I just pressed on the amount of money that you are going to require. Just so you know how much you are going to be paying in total. So I pressed on um, find out and um, get your pre-registration checklist so with that they tell you the amount you are going to spend as i said so you're going to spend about um thousand um 117 total and they've broken it down for you and um, the qualification you pay 140 and then 83 for cbt and cbt reset again and stuff like that so you can pause it and then go through that before um we continue with that so this is basically how much you're going to be spending on everything you can zoom in and then um take a look at the cost involved okay so now we are done with the cost we'll press on the checklist to know what we need to do that so get your checklist you press on that do you have a valid passport yes and i continue have your name um changed no have you ever had your name changed? if you have you press on yes and then you continue do you have a qualification that is as in in your country do you are you trained to be a midwife you press on yes or as a nurse you do the same thing do you have your original documents here yes i have it does your health allow you to practice safely and effectively? Yes. Um, have you received a police charge? No. Or conviction, whatever. No. I did this on my phone, so you can do it on your phone. You get it? All right. So, yeah. I press no. Has another regulatory body determined your unfitness? No, I've not had anything like that. If you have, you press on yes. This is basically like answering the questions that apply to you. Have you ever been registered? No. Not with the UK and MC, so the answer is no. And then you continue. What English proficiency um, would you like? So they have the accepted English language. Your practice, my training, uh, or not sure. So you can press on not sure. I have uh, my OET available. And so I pressed on the first one, an accepted English language test. If you have CBT, the same thing, whatever. Um, will you have... Will you have appropriate? So your NHS or your trust is going to have that. So you can press on yes, and then you submit. So after that, they are going to um tell you if you are qualified to go ahead with this registration, pay the information that you have submitted. If you are, you have all the things they are going to require. As I said, then voila, you can practice. You can start your application, and then um it continues from there. So as I said, you can zoom in for that. You can download it uh, or everything. So about that is the record. So they said, basically, here are my results. You can download it. If you don't want to download it, that's fine. You can continue with that. So you press on the ID, identity, 
um, checklist. So basically, I'm just scrolling down to let you know the things your eligibility is going to be assessed, your health background is going to be assessed, your identity, they're going to take your passports, your character reference, you need someone, language and other responsibilities, other requirements, basically police clearance reports and stuff like that. So after that, you press on, the first one is um, identity. So you pressed on the identity and then it will take you to the identity page. So basically, I'm just scrolling. I just downloaded it, yeah, just so you, you can keep it for future reference, yeah. Okay, so... When you press on the identity, you scroll down and then you press on start the application. So I'll scroll down. Begin your application. You press on that. All right. So you, you go to start application. So you press on next, they are just um, letting you know, you know, the things you are going to require. Check you are ready. You've done that already. So you press on next. So begin your application. You just fill those ones. Please confirm one of the following. Um, you, are you, if you want to register as a next, you press on that. If you want to register as a midwife, you press on that. I want to register as a midwife, so I press on midwife. And then you press on yes, you agree here. Yeah. And then you press on I have not. You don't have an NMC pin in UK. So you press on not. I have not. Then you move to next. Then you fill this part. You fill the country is Ghana. I'm from Ghana. If you're from Nigeria, you press on Nigeria where you reside or your nationality. I'm a Ghanaian. And where you were trained, you were trained in Ghana. So you select Ghana basically. And you press on next. Yep, so you can edit it at this point. If you made a mistake, you can go back, you edit it. If not, you proceed and then it continues. So everything is okay. I am happy to proceed and I press on I understand. Blah, blah, blah. And I press on next. Okay. So after that, I'll press. I'll continue. From there, sign up. So I'll sign up with the UK NMC registrar. I already have an account with them. And so um, my email and everything they had, like, stuff like that so you fill this part your email unfortunately the email i used has i've already registered with the uk nmc and so they said i already have an account so i couldn't proceed from this point so basically you fill all your details your name your date of birth blah 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 and all that and then you continue from there your age you press on next and that's it mm -hmm.